Let's get more insights into uh, Frontier Africa, Zimbabwe, as we count down the final days of the year 2020. Eddie Cross is an economist and policy analyst. He joins me now from Harare. It's about 9.30 in the evening. So we appreciate your staying up this time to speak with us, uh, Eddie, uh, on the show. Thank you. Uh, how is the news of the 10,000 ghost workers and government payroll, which came out just about a day or two ago, being received? Well, during the government of national unity, we asked a, an Indian accounting firm to come in and do a full audit of the Zimbabwe uh, civil service. And uh, they did that. And we found very considerable numbers of ghost workers on the payroll. And the difficulty was at that time, because it was a government of national unity, we had to get agreement from both the government and the opposition to reduce the size of the civil service. And that was a very tough decision, and it was never really tackled. The new government, which was elected in 2018, has decided at long last that it has to reduce the size of the, pop of the civil service, uh, mainly for budgetary reasons. We're trying to keep the cost of the civil service below 50 percent of revenue. And uh, right-sizing is one of the ways to do that. This is not the first thing they've done. There was a substantial reduction in the number of, of policemen just after the elections in 2018. And we've seen other elements in the, in the, in the, in the government uh, uh, having been right-sized as well. But this is a, new, is a new exercise, and I'm delighted to see it's happening. Uh, Eddie, do you think this uh, cleansing is, is far enough and deep enough for a country that needs so much revenue, expenditure has to cut down, it needs all as much money as it gets in the, in the public coffers? Is it deep enough? At Independence, we had a civil service with less than 70,000 people. Today, we have over 100,000 teachers in education. We have 35,000 nurses. In, in medicine, in health. Uh, we have probably have a civil service approaching 300,000 civil servants. So it's very difficult to, to reduce those sort of numbers. Uh, I'm not sure what the military is. I have understand there's been quite considerable reductions in the military. Um, but, uh, you know, at Independence, we had 120,000 men in the armed forces. So it's been a process of adjustment and, and, and uh, right-sizing but politically, this is a very sensitive issue. Mm. Yes, it is. But, but again, when we look at, uh, at the assist, how much assistance is Zimbabwe getting from external sources, as it were, right now to keep the economy going? Zero. Zero. We were excluded even from the COVID relief issued by the, by the IMF and the World Bank. Uh, we get no assistance from the international community for our economic uh, affairs at all. We get some assistance for humanitarian purposes, mainly feeding a very substantial proportion of our population, but that's it. Uh, there's, no balance, there's no budgetary support at all. So what is your outlook for 2021, Eddie? Well, I'm, I'm a bit bullish. Um, you know, you mentioned the fact that the Zimbabwe dollar has stabilized and strengthened quite considerably in the last five months. Mm. And uh, we've got all our fundamentals under control. We've got a balance of payment surplus. We've got a fiscal surplus. Um, we are now auctioning our foreign exchange, and the weekly auctions have been stable now for about four months, at about 82 to 1. Um, and I, in, since the second quarter of the year, we've seen very substantial recovery in our economy. Today, our economy is almost back to normal. Um, traffic is up to normal levels. Restaurants and bars are full. There are virtually no COVID restrictions in Zimbabwe, none at all. And uh, we've still got a curfew, but it starts at 10 o'clock at night. And it's pretty, it's pretty lax. And the main reason for that is that we really have not had a severe uh, infection rate at all. In fact, the facilities which were prepared for COVID sufferers at our major hospitals have virtually gone unutilized. I think for some reason we've escaped the worst. And in economic terms, I think 21 is going to be good. Eddie, I guess I should be heading 
uh, your way, either at Victoria Falls or Harare, with this good news I'm hearing from you. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant night and have a good night's rest there, Eddie Cross. Yeah.